Hey there, welcome to a Wagoneer Wednesday video on Slay Automotive Art. My name is Garrett, and in today's video, let's talk about this 1960s Jeep Gladiator Double Cab that Kaiser Jeep Corporation never made. Or did they? If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe and like the video for more Jeep history videos just like this, and follow my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer project that's on the channel. Comment the word more down below if you like these Jeep history videos, and I'll make more of them. Now let's get into this. So the other day I was on Facebook scrolling through one of the full size Jeep groups, and I stumbled upon this 1960s Jeep Gladiator with four full doors, a double cab Jeep Gladiator pickup truck, and I thought to myself, Jeep never made one of these. I'm pretty sure they didn't at least. I mean, I've seen pictures here and there of people modifying their Jeep Gladiators and adding more length and two more doors to their trucks, but Jeep never made these. Now, you gotta believe me, I tried to do all of my homework before coming on the camera and spilling the beans and talking about this double cab Jeep Gladiator with all the info and knowledge that I can find. And unfortunately, I didn't find much. However, with this Jeep that I found on Facebook, the description reads, this was a one-of-one one factory-built Jeep Gladiator. And this particular one was the only one in Canada that was registered in 1969. A lot of people were commenting on the post in these Jeep groups saying that they've seen this particular one before and they've seen a couple other ones. And that for the most part, these special builds were built for Canadian forest services. And if I had to take a guess, probably some fire departments too and some industrial businesses. But the one thing that caught my eye, along with a few others that were commenting in this post, people had a hard time believing and just weren't all too sure concerning the large seam running across the top of the roof. Now it looks like it connects from side to side and it kind of looks like this was maybe a last minute thought. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's very possible that Jeep could have made these from the factory special builds, of course, but we we really don't know. But nonetheless, isn't this thing just so cool? I'm really bummed out that I didn't find any info on these things on the internet. However, I did find a couple pictures of some modified ones. The last one's a little blurry, but you get the idea and that thing is super, super cool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for a new Jeep history video every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And make sure you follow my project it's an 86 Grand Wagoneer, it's on the channel. Make sure you check out this video here next.